March 2nd, 2021, New York City. I'm getting vaccinated today. I can't wait to hug people who want hugs once we all have our vaccines. But first, we gotta get there. Train time. Except I haven't used the train in a year and I've forgotten how. Do the car the other way. Gotta get back on that horse. That horse is the end train. I might look a little nervous, because I am. This is a big moment. Will the vaccine hurt? Will I feel sick tomorrow? How safe is the vaccine anyway? Friends, vaccines are so safe. You know what? It's a long train ride. Let's find some science. Vaccines protect you against germs that make you sick, like a virus, by activating your immune system before that virus shows up. Vaccines do this by using a harmless form of that virus, like a destroyed version, a really weak version, or just a little chunk of that virus, or just the genetic code for just that chunk, or just a piece of that genetic code. That form of the virus doesn't make you sick, but is recognized by your immune cells, which fight it off and remember it. So next time it comes your way, your body is like, oh, you again, germ? No, thank you. This is called immunity, your body's power to protect you from disease. Thanks, vaccines. Getting vaccinated keeps you healthy and means you won't spread the disease to others. Vaccines are a scientific marvel. They're also a community marvel. We are coming together to protect each other. I am honored to be part of it. Oh, here's my stop. This escalator is a metaphor for 2021. Onward and upward. And kind of scary if I look back. We're here! Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. This line is wild. What is this, voting? I waited four hours in line. Apparently, the center was ramping up distribution because they got more of the vaccine so they could give it to more people. It was just a lot of people all at once. And you know what? It was worth every second. Hello from the other side. I talked to a lot of people in that line. We swapped stories about life in quarantine. We joked that none of us knew how to talk to people anymore and we shared why we were all willing to wait in this long, long line to get this vaccine. You know what? We got four hours. Let's get into it. This is a jaw-dropping human achievement. The fact that people were able to develop, test, make, and deliver a vaccine this fast, despite a lot of roadblocks, is astounding. It might seem fast to us and new to us, but scientists have been working on this kind of vaccine for over a decade. That's why the COVID vaccine could be developed at a record pace, because the scientists were prepared. Essentially, they did years of homework so they could ace the pop quiz, and they nailed it. We are getting to witness the scientific process happen in real time. We're getting to watch the science unfold and evolve with new discoveries. Hold that thought. I've been tricked. There's a fourth line. Oh no. Anyway, is it perfect? Of course not. Nothing is. There are more challenges, like making sure everyone has access to these vaccines and acknowledging the history of medical research, which has hurt a lot of people. And I don't mean side effects like a sore arm. Medical research has often excluded, judged, and really hurt some people, like women, indigenous people, Jewish people, people of color, especially black people. Science is done by humans, and humans can be awful to each other sometimes. This vaccine was a step forward in many ways. It was made with everyone in mind, and people tried imperfect but improved ways to distribute it. Cue this line. Especially in communities that have been denied fair treatment before. In a way, this pandemic sped up our efforts toward better healthcare for all. Heck, even a four hour line is not enough time to unpack all this. And I think I might actually be through it this time. Okay, here we go. Five minutes and one tiny pinch later. Wow. 
It's real. We did it. I have a vaccine. It was easy. Didn't really hurt. We'll see what happens next. But <laughs> new start. but I'm smiling. <laughs> Four and a half hours later, I just sat in the observation area for a while afterward far longer than I needed to because I haven't been around people in a while and had a safe place to observe. I guess they were supposed to be observing me, but I was also observing them because I am a scientist till the end. And this community is echoed all over the world right now. of People who are working so hard to make sure that we all are protected. It's going to be a new type of world that we re-enter and honestly I am so looking forward to it and I know you all are too. So here is a moment to celebrate science and innovation and ingenuity and adaptation and also human kindness and compassion and care and what we can do when we work together. It's the day after my first vaccine and I feel a little sleepy. I've been a little sleepy all day and my arm is definitely more sore than I expected, but it's fine. It hurts a little, but whatever. There's got to be some science here, but I will find out what it is later because for now I'm going to just rest. Part two, dose number two today. I am walking to the Javits Center. We're gonna see if it's the same as last time. I have everything I need to wait for four hours again, but I am really hoping that that's not what happens. Let's find out. Where's the line? I don't see a line at all. Well, morning after dose number two, and I feel surprisingly fine. I had probably a fever in the middle of the night, and I'm a bit sleepy, but I'm surprised at how fine I feel. Cheers. See, that doesn't even hurt. It's fine. We've gone through so much together, even though we've been apart. If you're anything like me, scientists, you've been lonely, sad, mad confused. Maybe you lost people you loved. Maybe you don't know what's going to happen next. It's okay to be sad and scared and hopeful and to still find the fun. Through all of this, you found fun. You cried, I bet. And you laughed sometimes too. I bet you made art and did science experiments I need this. and asked questions. Or do you find that you are your harshest critic? and wondered about this world. I am in awe of how we came together as humans to care for each other. You did that, scientists. Whenever you wore a mask or washed your hands or got vaccinated if you were able, you were part of this amazing human achievement. You are part of the amazing things we'll do next. Through everything that has happened, thank you for being you. Until next time, scientists. Oh no, I'm too excited.